Good morning, I'm Aline, I'm a jewelry designer. Thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to talk about geodes. Now, geodes are stones that you'll see with lots of little peaks and valleys in them when you're uh, either looking at them as a piece. I will show you this a little closer, but this is a geode. Um, and they're formed, basically, it's a, a round, roundish rock. And what's happened now, this happens, it's volcanic rock. So what's happened to the volcanic rock is other things have seeped in there before it's had a chance to do its final forming. There might be uh, bugs, it might be bubbles, air bubbles of some sort, it might be water bubbles, might be mud. There's a variety of things that could have seeped in to that round uh, stone, roundish stone. And so what happens over millions of years is it basically eliminates that stuff over time because it's, you know, if it's water, it dissipates, etc. It eliminates that stuff. And so when you open it up and crack it open, you're going to get these beautiful peaks and valleys that you see. I'm going to show you a little bit closer view of this one here. There, you can see this, I think, a lot better. This is an amethyst geode, and this particular piece, I'm gonna show you the back too, so you can see what I mean by it just being a rock, that if you saw that somewhere, it'd be like, oh, who cares? And yet, inside, this is what you see. This particular piece is uh, one of mine, and just so you're aware, these things are heavy. This one, which isn't huge, I mean, it's a nice size, but it's not huge, is uh, over 30 pounds. So um, the bigger ones that you see a lot on display are really weigh a lot. So anyway, back up to me. I wanted to just tell you where they're found. They're found in a lot of states in the United States, for one thing, and they're also found in the state of Iowa, and Iowa has made it their state rock. So <laughs> if you're from Iowa, go look for some geos because they're yours. Uh, the name comes from a Greek word, and again, the pronunciation, I don't know, but it's, it looks like geodes, and it means earth-like. So that kind of fits perfectly. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, pieces that I have worked on, and then also show you some tinier geodes so you can get a better idea of the rock. Let me put this away. Put this here, move it down. There we go, yay. All right, these are a couple of pieces that I have done. This is a sterling silver cuff bracelet. Um, these are some amethyst geodes that I had purchased a couple of years ago in Tucson, and they're from Uruguay. So I, I love working with them. What's interesting is that because of the height of them, the way they've been cut, I had to custom design a bezel to go around there so it would protect it so that you can wear that with comfort. Here's another one that I'm actually wearing right now, just a little different shaped one. So gives you an idea. These are some pieces in the works. This is one, I've already got the bezel on it. I haven't done any trimming or decided where I'm gonna put it yet. And this is another one that's been trimmed, but I still haven't figured out if I'm gonna put it on a cuff or make that into a pendant. Now the other thing I wanted to show you, and they're over here, all of these, these are, let's call them uh, half rocks, because uh, this is the way I, I've got them displayed so you can see them. You can just see if you're looking at it, that looks just like a rock. I mean, you probably would walk right by that and not think about it. But if it were rounded or exactly double this size, you might wanna crack it open because this is what you would see inside. They're so beautiful. Um, here's another one. Actually, I love this rock myself. I think outside of it is kind of beautiful. But when you crack it open, this is what you get. So there are a lot of wonderful things to love about geodes. And the other thing is they can get huge. There's one uh, now on display in Australia, and it's called the Empress of Uruguay. I'm going to try to get a link down below so you'll be able to see a photo of it because it's 11 feet tall. So I bet that one weighs more than 30 pounds. Just a guess. Anyway, if you'd like to hear more about some of the gemstones uh, that I work with, please uh, subscribe up here 
and you'll see more about gemstones. I'm also talking about jewelry care and uh, some of my studio tour. You'll see some things that are going on here and some of the tools I work with. You can also like this video right here and that helps me to know that you're interested in seeing more of the same thing. So thank you very much and have a terrific day.